Hello friends, this is Ramandeep Singh and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. Today we will do a very important chapter in the reasoning section that is syllogism. So I will explain the basic funda behind this chapter using a simple example. So let's do the simple example first. All boys are pens. All pens are toys. So you have to find whether all boys are toys. So we will solve this question using the circle method. We will draw the circle for each of the statement and then find the conclusion. First of all, this is the circle. All the boys are pens. And all the pens a toys so understand this all the boys all the boys are pens all the bo boys are the part of the bigger circle that is pens and all the pens are part of the bigger circle toys so we can combine this so boys boys is here the part is a smaller circle inside the pens so it's like this the boys is here so all boys this smaller circle that boys is a part of the bigger circle toys so yes it's true all boys are toys so let's do some difficult questions that that will be asked in the real exams. Okay, let's do a very simple question. All boys are pens. So there are three statements and three conclusions, and we have to find that whether these three statements can help us find these three conclusions. So let's start with the first statement that is all boys are pens so let's draw a circle for this all 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 the boys all the boys are part of the bigger circle that is pens okay now let's go to the second statement that is done some toys are pens some toys so it is like this some of the toys some toys So some toys, a part of toys is a pens. So it's done. And all pots are toys. All the pots are toys. So there is a possibility that a, the circle pot is here or it can be here or it can be something like this here. So these are our possibilities. So we can join these two diagrams. So boys can be here or the circle boys can be here or it can be like this here. Some part is covered there. So this is the final diagram. So we integrated all three statements here. So let's move on to the conclusions. All pens are pots. All the pens are pots. So look at this, this circle. If this is the position, if the pot pot is not here, pot is not here, if it is here, then all the pens are not pots. So it is not possible at all. Some boys are toys. 
So if the situation is like this, if the circle boys is situated here, then what? Then there is no relation between the toys and the boys. So it's not this conclusion is not followed. Some parts are boys. Some parts are boys. There is a possibility, but this can't be concluded. If the situation is something like this, if the uh, the circle part is here, if the circle part is here, and the circle boy is here, then this conclusion is not followed. So none of the conclusions are followed. Let's do another question. Some goats are cats. Some pens are boxes. And some cats are animals. Then there are four conclusions. So let's draw the diagram for these three statements. So first of all, some of some of the goats. So let's draw a circle for goats and this one for cat cats some of the goats are cats that means a part of goats and a part of cat a part of goats are cats and a part of cats are goats and some pens are boxes then some pens are boxes some cats are animals so there is a possibility that some cats are animals now we will draw all the possibilities for the animals so some cats are animals so it can be something like this for animals or it can be like this for animals or it can be like this this again animals so there are these three possibilities now let's move on to the conclusions some goats are pens so there is no relation between the goats and pens so so this is false this one is false cut it some goats are animals some of the goats if we look at this one this uh, these two circles these are goat circle and this animal circle then we will find that this conclusion is following but give a look to this circle if this is the situation so here are animals and here are goats then the second conclusion doesn't follow some pens are animals some pens are animals there is no relation between the pens boxes with this graph so cut it out some animals are either goats or pens some animals some of the animals are either goats or pens so here are the diagrams for the animals the part so animals can be this circle or this circle or this circle so we can't conclude the fourth conclusion as well so none of the conclusion follows okay let's do one more question there are three statements and four conclusions so first of all some apples are bees no bee is a papaya and all papayas are boys so let's draw the diagram for each of the statement so some apples are bees these are for apples some of the apples are bees the no bee is a papaya so no bee is a papaya here goes a papaya papaya can be here or the papaya can be here the papaya circle can be anywhere except this circle this B circle and the third one is all papayas are boys 
all papayas are boys so all papayas are part of the bigger circle boys so it can be like this this is for boys so now move on to the conclusions some apples are boys some apples are boys so if we look at this this one is right but th there is a second possibility so here is no relation between apples and boys so this conclusion is can't be found this is wrong this is false some boys are papayas yeah this one is right in both of the situations this part the papaya part this one is also boys so this one is true this one is true some boys are apples some of the boys are apples so if you look at this situation here is apples and here are boys so there is no relation between boys and apples so this one is also false some bees are apples so look, give a look to the this part so a part of bees are apples so this one is right thanks for watching this video you can buy the quantitative aptitude made easy book for more practice questions from bankexamstudy.com call me or drop me a mail